This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. How would you like access to a tool that will keep you entertained on those cold, rainy, gloomy days? Kind of like what it is around here today. It's called a symbol sprayer tool, right over here. It does actually look like a spray can. There's a lot of options that go along with it, so let's tear that thing off and get started. The symbol sprayer tool is a scatter brush. It scatters a symbol that you access appropriately from the symbols panel. These are the basic ones. I did add two flowers by coming down here and using one of the auxiliary libraries. So what do you do? Well, pick one of the flowers, come over here and begin spraying. You can let go anytime you want to and move around, but it will keep them within that one group. Choose a different flower, a different symbol. And there you go. We're making a garden. Isn't that special? Tell you what, let's get out of here. Let's just use one so we can focus on something. You will notice that when you put these flowers on the screen, or whatever symbol you're using, they're the same size, the same rotation, the same color, same everything. So it's like taking a stamp and going stamp, 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 boring. I need a little excitement. And that's why we have all of these options up here. Once you've drawn them, you have the ability to control them. So let's run through these. The first one is called the symbol shifter. And what it does is it shifts them. It moves them. If you want to move them around, move them around. Now you'll notice I'm moving several at a time because of the size of my brush. Maybe I need a smaller brush to get just one. Use your left and right bracket keys. Left and right bracket keys. Come over here and maybe just grab one. Control. The next one over here is called the symbol scruncher. I'm going to make the brush a little bit bigger for this one. Now I'm going to position the brush right on center on that flower. Watch what happens. Things become magnetized and move toward the center. So it's like a big magnet. The bigger the brush, the more you're going to attract to pull it in. Some of these brushes have an opposite. What if you want to push them away? Hold the all key down. Hold the all key down, does the exact opposite, and it will push them away for you. That's kind of nice. The next one over is called the symbol sizer, and it does probably what you expect it to do, changes size. You want to get very precise? Use a smaller brush. Since these are vector, no matter how big we make them, it's not going to hurt them a bit. You want to work to make them smaller? Hold the Alt key down. Alt key makes them get smaller. Let me use a really big brush to demonstrate something here. I'm going to click on this one right here and watch what happens. The one in the middle grows larger faster than the ones on the sides. So it's like we're watering the one in the middle more than we're watering the ones on the sides. It's like a magnifying glass. This tool will work that way with all of the other options that we're working with. It works more intense in the middle. Next one is a spinner. These are kind of hard to tell anyway. They're kind of circles, but they are all in the same angle. So if I click here, you can see arrows come up. Kind of hard to see those, I understand that. But the arrows are pointing in the direction of the spin, and I can begin spinning if I want to do this, spinning them around. The next one is a stainer. Well, I want them different colors. Watch when I use a nice bright color like this blue here. Now I'm going to click on this one right here with a nice big brush and watch what happens. The ones in the middle get stained quicker and more intensely than the ones on the edges. If you want to get precise, well, use a smaller brush. Change the different colors. Have some fun. You say, Andy, I don't like that color. I need to get rid of it. Hold down the Alt key, and it will unstain them and take them back to the original. Next button over is called the Symbol Screener, and what it does is it begins to make them semi-transparent. Now, if you click too long, you make them semi-gone, zero opacity. So you hold the Alt key to bring them back. We'll get you in a minute. There you go. All right, so we can start making them transparent. The last one is used to assign a style, a graphic style, to your images. For example, my style palette is over here, graphic styles, 
don't really have much to work with, but I'll show you how this works anyway. Pick up this one right here, and when I click on one of my objects, as you can see it begins applying the style to the object. So most of these are not really appropriate to what we're using, but you might find a graphic style that would fit something that you're working on. If you wish you had not done that, hold the Alt key down and click it again, and it will remove it. The Alt is the opposite for all of these features. Okay, so we have something that looks a little bit better, I suppose. We want to get to the point now where we want to manipulate these things as if they're separate objects, but we can't do that. We have to use these tools because they really are only one object that's being replicated. I don't care. I want them as separate objects. All you have to do is remember, come over here and click the broken button right here, little broken chain, and they now become literally separate objects that you can work with. Let me ungroup them one at a time. Total control, once you've got them sprayed on the screen, you can break them apart. Now you can't use them with these buttons anymore. Okay, that, that boat has sailed. But the symbol sprayer tool, I don't know, it's actually pretty cool to work with. Let me show you one more thing real quick. I'm gonna come over here and pick up a tool. Oh, let's just do an ellipse. And I'm gonna draw just a couple of circles just to let you know how this works. You wanna make your own symbol, draw it on the screen. That's all you have to do. Maybe select one or two of these and change their color. We're just making a bunch of little circles. All right. That's, um, that's what I want to use. Select it. Just like that. Come into the Symbols panel and click the new button right here. It's going to ask you to give it a name. What is it? It's a graphic. And we're going to click OK. There it is. You want to use it? Pick up your spray can. And bubbles everywhere. You can make symbols out of anything vector and have a little fun with it on those cold, gloomy, rainy days.